G'day kids, thanks for tuning in to another Aussie episode. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that way you won't miss out on any of the new videos we put out and it would certainly make my day. In the meantime, enjoy this video. Ozzy is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Today, we're gonna do some yard work. Now, who loves getting outside and helping in the yard? I bet you do. Following along behind Nan or Pop or Mum and Dad or any of the grown-ups really with your very own garden tools. Now, we're gonna focus on some grown-up garden tools. We've got some lawn mowers. We've got a hedger. We've got a lion trimmer or a whippersnipper or as some people call it, a weed eater. And we've also got a blower or a leaf blower. Kids, it's gonna be so much fun. And today we're gonna to get started with some lawn mowing. Let's get stuck in. Today we've got two different types of lawn mowers. They're both Ryobi, they're both bright green and black, and they both look really cool. But there is one main difference between the two. This one here runs on petrol power. This one here is electric or battery power. Now with the electric one, the battery one, that's where it gets its power. So you just plug that into the wall and once that's full, pop it back in there and she's good to go. Now there are a few other differences, but all push mowers pretty much have the same parts. So let's have a look at some of those. Now this big black thing here, that's called the deck. And on top of the deck sits the engine. Now when we're mowing the lawn, the deck can go high or low to cut the grass shorter or longer. Now to control that height, over here we have a height adjuster. So if you just push that all the way down, we're gonna cut the grass really short. If you pull it all the way up, we're gonna cut the grass quite long. Then when you're cutting the grass, the blade is under here and it cuts the grass and all the off-cut grass comes into here. This is called the catch. Then when the catch is full, just take it off like that and dump that into the rubbish bin. Now with this electric mower, the way to start it is by pushing this button in and holding this down just like this. Now that that's off, I'm gonna show you underneath the lawnmower. So we flip it on its side. Now remember I said the engine's up here. The engine drives this thing here, and that's the blade. And when it drives it, when it's on, it spins around really, really quick. And when that spins around, it's gonna chomp through that grass and spit it out into the catch. That is the electric mower. Then kids, we have the petrol mower. Now before we start using the petrol mower, we need to make sure it's full of petrol or gas. That's right. And that's kept in here. So we're just gonna unscrew the lid and you can just look in there and I can see that it's got a little bit of petrol, but it's gonna need some more. So lucky, I've got one of these things, which is called a jerry can and that's full of petrol. So you pull this little bit out and just really carefully and usually, this is done by an adult, kids, and you just pour the petrol in, just like that. Okay, so once you've got enough petrol in here, pop that lid back on there, and then always make sure you put this guy back on here and screw it on really tight. All right, there's one more thing you need to check. 
with the petrol lawn mower and that's called the oil. So over here, we have a little oil cap which we can screw off just like that and it's got a little dipstick on the end of it. It's got a H for high and an L for low. And you can see that the level of the oil is sitting on the H. So that's got lots and lots of oil. It's good to go, which means this lawnmower is ready to be used to chomp through some of this grass. Now when we're ready to start the lawnmower, a bit different to the electric one, we're gonna pull this lever down to where it says start. Then you need to use all your strength and then you need to pull on this lever here. And that's how you start the petrol mower. When you want to stop it, you see what I just did there? Just pull that back to the stop position. Now, when you're using any of this equipment in the yard to do any of the yard work, you need to make sure that you remember safety first, of course. So, we're gonna put on some safety goggles and some ear protection. And then when you're using the hedger or the whipper snipper, it's also safe to use some gloves. You don't really need them for lawn mowing. But look at this yard, kids. It's looking a bit long. I think I'm ready to cut some grass. So come on, let's start with the electric one. Hey kids, that is the electric or the battery powered mower. It does a pretty sweet job, but let's have a crack at the petrol one.
There you go, kids. I think this grass is looking pretty good. What do you think? But I think we need to do something else. These edges need to be done, don't they? Let's go and get that whippersnipper and do those edges. Come on. Okay, kids, I'm gonna come and grab my whippersnipper over here. This one is battery operated. So this battery just slides in and out. Down here, we have the blades. We wanna make sure we keep our fingers and hands and everything well and truly clear of those while it's running. To get it started, all you need to do is press this and then pull up on the handle. Now we wanna make sure, just like with the lawnmower, that we've got our safety gear on. Protect our eyes, protect our ears, and protect our hands. And now, we can start cutting. There you go kids, that's hot and sweaty work. Good thing I've got my sweatband. So we've done the lawns, we've done those edges, they're looking nice and neat, but we've made an almighty mess, haven't we? There's grass clippings and there's leaves everywhere. Now what are we gonna use to clean up these leaves? A leaf blower. So let's go and grab that and get all this cleaned up, come on. Okay kids, I've got my trusty leaf blower here. This one is also battery powered and it's the same battery that the whippersnipper used. So we can just take that, pop it in there, which is good to go. This one's pretty simple. All you do is press that button and off she goes. But let's protect our ears, shall we? So we'll put our ear muffs back on and we'll protect our eyes at the same time with our glasses. We're good to go.
So there you go, kids. That's the leaf blower. Things are looking pretty clean around here. The leaf blowing is one of my favorite things to do. It was always my favorite when I was a kid because it's really easy to do and you can't really get it wrong. It's very, very safe. So if you want to try one of these things at home with your grown up, leaf blower is the way to go. And you know the best thing about it? It means you're almost finished. Now there is one more piece of equipment that I had over there. And that was, do you remember? It was a hedge trimmer, wasn't it? There's a mighty big hedge over there and needs a lot of trimming. So come on, come and help me with the hedge trimming. Let's go. All right, kids. The next thing up is our hedge trimmer or our hedger. Now this guy uses the same battery as the whipper snipper and the blower. Pretty handy, hey? Just pop that on there. That's good to go. Now this is a very important part of this hedge trimmer. That's because it protects you from cutting yourself on the blades. This is a tool that should only be used by grown-ups. Now the safety feature is this little button here, or this big button here. You grab that and then you press these two buttons. And just like that, these things go back and forth really, really fast and that's what chops through the hedges. So, safety first, of course. We're gonna put our ear protection and our eye protection on and also protect our hands. And then we can start trimming this hedge. There you go kids, I reckon this hedge is looking pretty good. And I reckon this whole yard is looking pretty amazing. Thanks so much for your help, thanks for joining me today. Remember when you're helping out in the yard with grown-ups, maybe start with just your toys or even the blower. That's a really good one to start when you're a little kid. Kids, I hope you've enjoyed it, I hope you've learnt lots, and I hope that you've had lots of fun in the yard just like I have. We'll see you on our next video and until then, stay keen. I've got some leaves to rake up. G'day kids and grown-ups. If you are loving watching and learning with Aussie, it would be amazing if you could please do me a really big favour and just tell anybody else that you think might enjoy it too. In the meantime, enjoy this brand new episode and as always, stay keen. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine. G'day kids, Ozzy here. Now I am just a little bit excited today. I am in my happy place because we've come along to prompt mowers and we're gonna learn all about lawn mowers. But not just your push lawn mowers, we're gonna go straight to the big bad boys, the ride on lawn mowers. I'm super keen kids, come and check these out. Let's go.
So kids, we've got three different types of lawn mowers to talk about today. We've got more of your traditional type here. This is a ride-on mower, or otherwise known as a lawn tractor. The one in the middle, that's a zero turn. And then the one down the end, that's a rear engine or a front cutter. So let's start with this lawn mower, kids. I reckon this one's gonna be one of my favorites. Can you guess why? That's right, it's green and gold, just like Aussie. So this is a John Deere ride-on lawn mower or a lawn tractor. Check this out. This is the chute, so when the grass is cutting, the grass is gonna come out the chute. Got a nice yellow seat, looks comfy, doesn't it? If we lift that up, see that there? That's where the petrol goes. We've got this lever over here. Can you see that? That controls the deck height. It goes up and down, just like that. All right, this one here, that's a brake. So when you're not driving it, and you don't want it to roll anywhere, you gotta make sure you put the brake on. But check this out, this is where the engine is. I can open it up and have a look inside. Oh, look at that, kids. So that's the engine, that's what's gonna drive this thing. It goes pretty fast, and that's the battery. That's how you start it. Close that one back up again. But let's jump on, shall we? So you just sit up here when you're driving it, and it's a steering wheel just like a car. Okay, then you've got a, a lever here, push it forward to go a little bit faster. Can you see the picture down here? It's a picture of a hare and a tortoise. Which one do you think is going to go faster? That's right, the hare is going to be faster. You push it forward, make that engine spin faster, and then the tortoise will make it go a little bit slower. All right, that's pretty much everything. Should we fire it up and go for a drive? Let's do it, kids. So that kids, that's a right on lawnmower. How much fun is that? Let's go and check out the zero turn. So kids, this is a zero turn. So what looks different to you? Well, it's red, of course. So does that make it go faster maybe? I don't know, maybe. But is there a steering wheel on this one? No, that's right, there's no steering wheel. That's because you steer using these things. These cool levers here. Everything else looks pretty similar, but there's no engine on the front. Is there? There's an engine on the front on that one, but the engine is on the back. Come check it out. So we've got the engine sitting on the back of this one. But other than that, you've got the chute that comes out the side. You've got the deck underneath. That's what cuts the grass. It does look a little bit bigger, doesn't it? So that's because the blades are bigger. So it's probably going to cut a little bit more grass. And it is going to go a little bit faster. Not because it's red, but that's because it's got a bigger engine. But let's jump on and check out how it goes. Okay kids, so there's no steering wheel on this guy. That's because this is essentially a steering wheel. So when you wanna go forward, you push it forward. When you wanna go backwards, you push it backwards. But these things move individually like that because this one on the right controls the right rear wheel. This one on the left controls the left rear wheel. And that's why it's called a zero turn because if you push them in opposite directions, you can do super quick turns on the spot in a zero spot. Zero turn, that makes sense? All right. You've got some other controls down here. You've got the park brake. You've got that hair and the tortoise again. So that's forwards and backwards to make the engine rev and spin quicker. Okay, you've got the choke here. You need to have the choke on to start it. And you need to have these guys open to start too. You've got a pedal down here and that controls the deck height. So up and down, how short or how long you want the grass. All right, I think we're ready to give this thing a go. Should we try and start it? Let's go, kid.
that is a whole lot of fun. Kids, you see those tight little circles I was doing? That's because of the way it drives. And that's the difference between this one and the ride-on mower or the lawn tractor. Let's go and check out this one over here. This one is the rear engine or the front cutter. Let's check out the differences on this one. So when you turn the steering wheel, it's the back wheels that turn. And that makes it really good for getting in around tight places like trees and stuff. Now this is where the engine is. Come check this out. So the engine sits at the back. So behind where the driver sits, which is really good because all the noise and the heat and all the smoke comes out the back. So it's a bit more comfortable to drive. So we've got this um, lever here and check that out. That controls the deck height. And with the deck, the cutting deck at the front, it means you can get in under bushes so you can drive in and cut under shrubs and bushes and stuff. You've also got the blade height here, so how close you're cutting the grass. And you've got the other controls here. You've got that hair and tortoise again, and you've also got the start and stop switch there. Come around here, you've got, that's where the petrol goes, or the fuel. And you check out, this is where the um, cutting deck is, but you can see that there's no chute. So with no chute, the grass has nowhere to go, so the grass goes back through the blades and gets cut again. So it's like mulching it, as well as cutting it, and it doesn't leave a big spread of grass in its trail. So come on, let's check it out, what it's like when we start it. We've got the foot brake here, and we've got an accelerator to go forward, and this pedal is to go backwards. Let's start it up and see how we go. <laughs> Ooh, I like the sound of this one. All right, we'll take the foot brake off. Get those wheels. So you can see how it like turns in the middle. All right, let's go for a little spin. different types of ride-on mowers. Which one's your favorite? Yeah? We've got the ride-on mower down the end there, which is also known as a lawn tractor. We've got the zero turn. We've got this one that we're sitting on here, which is the rear engine or the front cutter. Yeah, I quite like the green and gold. I quite like how fast the zero turn is, but I reckon this guy would be pretty fun to cut some grass in. So kids, what do you reckon we should do right now? Let's go do what lawn mowers do best. Let's cut some grass. All right, we're gonna engage. Woo -hoo -hoo!
There you go kids, how much fun is it when you get to cut the grass on a ride on lawnmower just like this. I hope you've learnt lots about ride on lawnmowers, I hope you've had lots of fun today, I certainly have. We'll see you on our next video, until then, stay keen. Hey kids, did you have lots of fun today watching Aussie? I hope so. Did you know that we've got a heap of Aussie episodes on our YouTube channel? If you haven't already, go back and have a scroll through, I reckon you'll find some others that you absolutely love. And while you're there, why don't you hit subscribe? That way you won't miss out on any of our new videos that we bring out. We'll see you again soon, kids. Until then, stay keen. Oh, and by the way, did you happen to find the hidden Aussie icon in that video? Yeah, make sure you look closely because they're in every single video. That's right, stay keen, kids. Aussie, 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 oi. Aussie is a friend of yours and he's a friend of mine.